The process to receive crucial federal student aid has gone through quite a few changes in 2024. 13's Alex Carter spoke to a financial aid professional at Washburn to find out how the rollout is going so far this year. David, Washburn University is holding sessions to help students navigate the application process. Andrew McBride is a financial aid advisor at Washburn University, helping students work through the recently updated FAFSA process. Those changes were rolled out on December 31st, was the soft launch of the FAFSA, and it's going to go back to opening up on October 1st for future academic years. But as part of filling it out this time, we're definitely trying to make sure students don't lose track of it in the change of dates. McBride says there have been some major changes to the application process that will impact nearly 17 million students who submit FAFSA every year. The FAFSA has gone from being over 100 questions down to 30 to 40 questions. Part of how they're doing that is by retrieving the data that already exists other places like through the IRS or at the schools where students attend um, and retrieving the information that way versus having it be more questions that students have to fill out on the form. There have been some hitches in the rollout though according to McBride. When the servers are overloaded or when they're still working through some of the glitches it just adds more stress to the fact that the FAFSA has been delayed um, a few months from when we would normally expect it to open. Although college students often can be intimidated by the federal student aid application process, McBride says help is always available. Don't be afraid to reach out to your friendly neighborhood financial aid advisor, whether you're applying to Washburn or another school in the state or even outside of the state. There are dedicated financial aid professionals who want to make sure that the process is as simple as possible. The priority deadline to fill out FAFSA this year is March 15th. Washburn is holding help sessions every week until then, as well as some additional dates. You can find those on WIBW.com. Alex Carter tonight. Thanks.